Hey guys, once again, it's Justin from GuitarMadeEasy.com, and uh, I've had a lot of questions come my way about how to actually hold a pick. I always talk about strumming and um, and different you know areas with, with playing chords and stuff like that and practicing guitar chords, but I never really have shown you how to properly hold a pick. Uh, and so there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, first off, what I've got here is I've got a Dunlop thin pick, and that's what I usually use for playing guitars. It's actually point, I think, 5 uh, thickness. But um, basically, when I hold the pick, there's uh, a couple different ways I hold it, and I'll show you how right now. Uh, this pick right here, if I'm playing acoustic guitar and I'm strumming a lot of chords, what I do is I just pinch it. Basically, I'll make a fist. This is a good way to, to show you how I get to, to how I hold it. Uh, so you want to make a fist, like you're going to punch somebody, okay? And then you take this pick, and you put it right there. So I'd say probably about half the pick is exposed the other half is uh is um tucked into my uh my thumb and my uh my pointer finger but so half the pick is exposed now what i do is i leave that half of the pick exposed and i let these three fingers just uh be out there freely so that's that's what it should look like right there so i don't know if you can see that it's kind of hard sorry with my with my webcam how to show you but uh so yeah if that, if that makes sense okay so so basically, that's what it looks like. It's kind of like an like an OK sign, and then with a pick in it. So when I then this is when I'm playing acoustic guitar with a thin pick, because when I'm strumming chords, I it's a lot more tense for me, and uh, it's it's just more beneficial I find to have my fingers out there um, floating around instead of in a fist. I guess you can, but it just doesn't sound as nice to me. I can really make those chords sound really nice. Um, so that's if I'm playing acoustic guitar with a really light pick. Now, if let's say I'm playing a song that has a lot of individual notes, you know, that I'm picking with, within the strings, what I'll do is I will actually kind of make more of a fist with my pick hand. And so for, for that song right there, that was kind of a poor example, but if I'm picking a lot of notes, I'll sometimes go to a, a Dunlop uh, 0.58. This is kind of like a medium thickness pick. The last one I was using was a really thin thickness, 0 0.50, but this is 0.58. It's a little bit thicker, um, and it's better for just picking individual strings uh, within a song. So what I'll do, what I'll do here is, you know, I'll still, if I'm playing acoustic guitar or electric, I'll still most of the time have these fingers kind of riding out here, and I'll show you where the, where the difference comes in. So if I'm playing another song on acoustic guitar or electric guitar, um, and there's a little bit more uh, plucking of individual strings and notes. I'll kind of upgrade my pick a little bit, make it a little bit more thick, and I'll still have my fingers out there. Now this is where it changes. If I'm playing something that has to do with shredding or playing very, very fast, this is where my technique kind of kind of differs a little bit. Is I usually use one of these uh, Jazz 3 picks. See, it looks a little bit different than a regular pick. Here's a regular pick. It's bigger, it's thinner, and this Jazz 3 is really thick. I don't know exactly how thick it is, but it's probably like, I don't know, point, point 0.8 or something like that. But anyways, what I do is I do that very first thing I showed you. I make the fist, okay? I put the pick in, and I probably, I'd say I only have about 25% 25, 25 of it exposed, okay? And this is proper form. When we talk about playing guitar and learning guitar, this right here is, uh, is where all the teachers want you to, you know, start with, is making a fist and also, you know, really choking up on that pick, leaving a lot of it inside your hand, uh, inside of your fingers, and only having about that much exposed, if you can kind of see that. So I'd say about 25% of the pick, maybe even less exposed, okay? And where this comes into play is when you're picking really fast, it doesn't require a whole lot of movement. And all this picking, when I'm picking really fast with my, uh, with my right hand, basically it's not my fingers doing the movement, it's more on my thumb, okay, and my wrist. Or not, I'm sorry, not my thumb, but my wrist. Okay, so so I can play really fast like that, and I can just get keep on getting faster and faster and faster with the metronome. But this also here, instead of strumming, I'm not really strumming a whole lot when I usually use one of these picks in the music that I play with these picks. Um, a lot of it's just really fast shredding, legato, you know, stuff like that. Um, a lot of just really fast up and down picking. Um, so that's that's kind of it. So I guess by the book, um, this is what I would like you, how I would like you to learn, just like that. 
you know, I'd probably, you know, for, for beginning guitar playing, I, I wouldn't use one of these. I'd probably use, you know, a regular pick. Maybe I'd probably say like a medium thickness pick, uh, you know, if you're just starting out. Um, and, and just do it just like that. And honestly, play whatever feels comfortable to you. If it's more, if it's more comfortable for you not to make the fist and let your, uh, your fingers glide out there freely, that's fine. Um, if you want to really focus hard on, you know, making sure that you, you first learn the best form possible, you know, remember that thumb, or remember that fist, and just, uh, it's a little bit different style of strumming, but it just all depends on what you like. So, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Go to my website, guitarmadeeasy.com, and, um, uh, also subscribe to me on YouTube, and, uh, I will see you on the next lesson. Take care.